American Truck Simulator is a fantastic game, and with the fanbase continually growing, over the past few years I've received numerous comments about how to get started on American Truck Simulator. And in this video, we're going to go through the basics, from the creation of your save game to completing your first delivery. Hello, my name is Prime, and today I'm going to walk you through the basics of getting started with American Truck Simulator, also known as ATS. This video is part one, where I'll be showing you how to create your profile on American Truck Simulator and finish out your very first delivery and give you some tips and tricks along the way. In part two, also known as the next chapter, I'll walk you through the two main play styles for your ATS save. And in part three, which I've called time to grow, I'll detail the truck and trailer purchase process along with the expansion of your virtual trucking company. So keep an eye out here on the channel for those videos to come. And if you have any questions along the way throughout these tutorials, comment down below in either myself or the amazing Primetimer community will help you out. All right, now let's get started. I'm going to assume that you have purchased and installed American Truck Simulator and you should be greeted with a new profile page that looks similar to this. At the top, you have your name, which should be the, by default your Steam username, but you can feel free to customize that whatever you would like. That's gonna be your name for the profile itself. Along with the company name as well. You can have as much fun or as little fun really with these names as much as you want. It does not matter at all. You have a picture. You can choose from the default pictures, both male and female. You can choose that from the top uh, selection up here. So you can go to female and choose that. We're going to stick with male today. For those who are wondering if you can upload your own picture, you sure can. That is technically part of the World of Trucks account setup, which I will do in a future tutorial. Moving to the pre preferred truck design, this is where you get to choose from the 12 trucks in American Truck Simulator what one you do prefer. Now this really isn't overly important, but what it will do is put you in that truck for your very first delivery, which you will see very soon because I am using the Western Star 57X today, and it will also unlock the Western Star, for example, dealership first for you without you having to discover it on your own. That will apply to whatever brand of dealership that you go to. So if you do have a preferred brand you want to start out with, choose that truck. If not, you just have to discover the other dealerships and go that way. Ultimately, it's not a huge deal, but if you do have a preferred truck design, just choose that and you get to try that truck right off the bat. As for the company logo, you have eight different options there. Choose one that suits your trucking company the best or just the one you like the best. From there, you can choose your language and the option to use the Steam Cloud for backing up saves. I like to turn mine off, but that's completely up to you. And with all this set, we now hit create. And you will be presented with the input wizard where you can choose between the keyboard, mouse steering, or controllers if you have any hooked up to your PC. You also have the option to skip the wizard if you so choose to, but considering I have a controller, so for example myself with the wheel, I'll go ahead and set that up. You have four different options for the input wizard, and keep in mind all of this can be changed after the fact, so you can go through, for example, just with the keyboard or skip the whole input wizard to begin with, and you can come back after your first delivery and customize all your settings without any hassle. The four options you have for the transmission or gearbox type are simple automatic, real automatic, sequential, and eight shifter. Eight shifter is if you have a dedicated shifter module. Sequential is if you want to use, for example, a paddle shifter where you move up and down the gears without having to use a clutch. Real automatic is where you use either the paddles or a dedicated gear shifter to put into drive, reverse, neutral, park, for example, those sort of things. Very similar to an automatic vehicle in real life. And simple automatic is what I also like to call arcade automatic. Depending on your comfort level and equipment you have, I would recommend just starting with simple automatic. So let's select simple automatic and it will ask us to confirm or finish the wizard based on the key bindings we have. You have the option to go to finish wizard. You can do it in advanced setup where you go in and customize the controls. For example, this is the advanced setup screen where you can test as well. So if I turn my wheel right you will see the wheel axis start to go right as well in that orange bar you go to the left same thing accelerator it will go up brake it will go up as well that's a good way for you to confirm if the key bindings are correct especially if you have a some form of gamepad like an xbox controller or a wheel setup so since that's all fine we'll go ahead and finish the wizard and after a brief loading screen we'll be greeted with this headquarter selection page where we can choose the starting city for our trucking empire so let's go ahead and hit ok here and choose around the map now keep in mind this 
100% depends on the map DLCs you have installed. For example, I have all of the map DLCs as I do cover a lot of American Truck Simulator content, but if you're starting out and you've only picked up a, for example, a getting started bundle or just the base game where you'd have California, Nevada, and Arizona, you are going to have to limit your starting cities based on whatever these dots that you can actually choose from. So whatever states you have available will be in this lighter gray color and the starting cities have this more well enlarged circular dot. Whenever I create a save and for example in my ATS showcase save I am actually out of Salt Lake City, Utah, because it is very central across the map. This is completely personal preference and whatever DLCs you happen to have. For the sake of today, I'm going to go to Redding, California, so then everyone will have this city available to you. Let's go ahead and confirm the selection. And do you want to walk through a tutorial? Now, for today's video, I am not going to use the stock SES software tutorial as I am going to give you guys some tips and tricks and kind of walk you through this same thing. So this one's completely up to you, but for me, I'm just going to say no and I'm going to do it myself. You will be greeted by a city cinematic depending on what city you choose. Some of them are more custom than others and it will give you this little splash screen of information along with some really nice cinematics. So it says, welcome to American Truck Simulator. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of furniture to sell goods dock in Reading. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. And once you go through that intro for your city, you are presented with the truck that you chose as your preferred truck. So if you can remember, I chose the Western Star 57X, so that is what I am sat in. Even if you're using a controller or wheel, your mouse and keyboard will work perfectly fine base stock no matter what. It will not affect any of those basic keyboard bindings. So moving the mouse right will move, well, the camera head or your person looking right. Moving it left, left, up, down, all that good stuff. You will notice that you can see a mirror on your top right hand side. That can be controlled by F2. Your F keys and your first in your number row are very important here in ATS. Pressing F2 will toggle the available mirrors that are on screen all the time. So that your default is just your right screen because you normally can't see it when you're in a normal driving position. If you press it one more time, you'll get both left and right, press it one more time, you get just left, and pressing F2 once again, you remove it. For more experienced players, you will probably normally just turn that off and then look right and left if you need to, but that is completely up to you. On the bottom right hand side of the screen, you'll see the in-game information UI. This is a hub of many Im important tools, one being navigation. If your truck doesn't have a GPS in it, this one happens too. So when I turn that truck on, I'll be able to see it. Pressing F3 toggles this on and off from a completely on state, a more semi-transparent state, so it's not as noticeable and then completely off. Keeping it on, if you hit F5, this is comes to your map view. And if you keep pressing F5 while on the screen, it will change the zoom of the map. So you can choose if it's more more zoomed in or zoomed out. Moving to F6 is your information about the job. Moving to F7, that is your damage and service menu. This is where you can view and call service if you run out of gas. Where your truck is inoperable, you can call a service from this menu by hitting enter. If you damage the cargo itself, you lose money on the job. F8 is your short messages information hub, and F9 is the chat if you're part of multiplayer. And there are two other very important F key functions, one being F1. If you press it, the game pauses. Hitting F1 again unpauses the game, and you can also hit F4. Now this is where you can adjust your seating position, mirrors, lights by pressing one. You can choose the seat adjustments from head and tilt, Really, for your first delivery, it's not that important, but I do feel it's important to know if you can't really see or you don't like the vision, 
My key one is the field of view down at the bottom here. So hitting M and N is the universal toggle for these views. Hitting M increases your field of view and reduces it. I like to base it off of the left hand mirror. That way I don't have to move my in-game head so much to be able to see my left mirror. It's a very quick glance and a lot more natural. So generally around 78 degrees is where I run it. It just depends on the truck. And hitting escape of course closes out this menu. You have to hit it twice for this one because there are two sub menus. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to press on the gas because we did choose Choose simple automatic and it has automatic engine start enabled and so we are going to go ahead and go into first gear by pressing on the gas if you have chosen simple automatic and we're going to move forward and we're going to keep an eye out on our surroundings so keep that in mind so we're going to start turning the wheel slowly keep in mind you do have a trailer on and the other thing we want to do now because i want to be able to see the exterior view is the number keys so keep in mind that key number one is your main interior cam Key number two goes to your outside orbit where you can then move the mouse around similar to inside view. Hitting number three is the top down view. So if I drive forward a little bit, you'll see that the camera stays perfectly aligned on the top. Four is the roof view. Five is a look back on your left hand side. Six is right out the front of the grill. Seven is just to the left of the driver door there. And eight is your cinematic cam, one that I use quite often. So let's go ahead and continue out of this Walbert here and we're going to continue driving. Some of your other controls will be based off of what your controller default is and this can all be changed but I will be showing you guys that a little bit more in depth about the UI in the next episode along with some other more important settings. Let's roll out of here and continue left keeping an eye on the road laws because you can get a fine if you do something by mistake and we'll go ahead and roll into the delivery point here and you will be greeted by this nice green icon. Any of these green icons are interaction points around the map unless if you have a mod or you turn them off uh, in some gameplay options. But for these interaction options you want to park on these options and it will bring up a little information where it tells you what to do. I was pressing on the brake too long, my apologies. And what this asks you to do is how to handle the job delivery. You can choose to have a default delivery message where you don't have to do this all the time, but that's once again a more advanced step. But for now, we're going to just choose how you want to do it. You get more XP and XP is very important for unlocking different options, trucks and skill points to be able to get different deliveries. Where do you need it is the most advanced. So that's literally parking it where they need it. It is going to be in some cases very difficult and you generally have to maneuver around different objects. It gives you by far the biggest XP bonus. Play it safe. It's where you can pull into a spot nice straight on that has a significantly less XP value. But if you do not want to park at all, maybe you're just not comfortable with reversing or driving into potentially tighter spots and you just want to skip the delivery point, you can go ahead and skip the parking job, but you will not get any bonus XP. Let's choose the middle of the road job today and it happens to give you a little map preview as well of where roughly you'll be parking the truck. So let's go, let's play it safe so we can see that. And if we go to exterior cam and move around, you will see an outline. This outline is where you should park. It doesn't matter if you choose the more advanced option or not. You will see that this well, little hover area of where the trailer should go and where your truck should stop at the front will be parked. So let's hope that I can actually get this parked first try, which would be lovely. And so what this does is you want to line up with the front and it will go green when you are within a tolerance that it has kind of set. So it is happy with my delivery it has gone green and a little information toggle has come up where it says you can detach the trailer and that is with the button T. That is your bog standard setting across the board. So let's go ahead and hit T and that will give us an overview of the job we just completed. So it says job completed, which we have done a wonderful job. We've driven a massive distance of one mile. It took us 51 minutes because I was yabbering around. And it tells us your fuel consumption as well. And this is your overall reward tally chart. So it gives you a base reward, which is based off the delivery, uh, which is the base fee for the or the base pay for the money, I should say, along with the experience. 
and it also gives you your bonuses. So if you have other bonuses with skill points, which I'll explain in later tutorials, this is where those come in handy. It gives you plenty of more XP, plenty of money as well. And overall, it gets totaled down at the bottom and it gets added to your level. So I'm currently a level zero newbie. Hitting continue then gives us a nice cinematic of our trucking headquarters. It's the one that we get right off the bat. It's just a single bay garage, a little rundown, but it is ours to keep. And this is your home screen of your profile in American Truck Simulator. On your right hand side is the main section of the UI where you have your personal info or about you really. You have your XP, your level, your rating. You can track your progress, your skills. This is where you can access truck dealers whenever you have them unlocked. The bottom section is more about your company. This is your section where it gives you your total garage count, your truck count, trailer count, driver count, your profit over the days, and the more importantly, the total money you have. This is where you can manage your trucks, manage trailers, drivers, all the really exciting things that we can get into in the coming episodes. The bottom section here, though, is by far the most important where it has your key controls that you use no matter what. The drive button is where you can go into free roam mode if you have your own truck. Go into the job market and you get a list of your job type. Currently, because we are very new, quick job is the only option and we get a list from the cities we have unlocked, which is Reading right now because we haven't discovered any other cities. It gives us the different trucks that we can drive uh, and the cargo types as well. The goal starting off is to select a quick job that gets you the most money so you can try and get your truck. The game prompts you very well and I'll show you in coming tutorials the next steps for growth across the company. From there we can select the world map where we can do an overview of the area that we've explored. Anything that's yellow is what we've explored. Anything that's gray we have not explored quite yet. We have convoys if you want to join a external convoy or create one of your own. The radio function is if you want to load music into ATS, you can listen to that while in the truck. Email is the built-in email of notifications about new things that are coming. Highly recommend checking those out and I'll show you in coming tutorials more about that. You have photo mode if you want to get some really sweet screenshots. Content browsers where you can go through the different companies, trailers, the trailer browser overall and truck browsers and explore American Truck Simulator for all that it has to offer. Other than that, you've got save and load, your options menu, which I will go over in coming tutorials, and your exit where you can choose to either go to the launch pad or quit the game as well. To wrap up, we'll go ahead and save this game. So we'll go to save game and we'll just name this tutorial for the sake of this video. And we're gonna go ahead and hit save. That will save and we are all set up for the next time. If you have any questions about the things I went over, comment down below. I'll do my best to keep an eye on the comments. And if you have any other tutorials you want me to go over, let me know as well. I'll be more than happy to try and get those prime how to's out to you guys as soon as I can. As I've mentioned, this is part one of three in the beginner series. Part two and three will be coming shortly. And I've also got my ultimate setting and controls guide along with the world of trucks setup coming soon as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.